what's going on gamers as you can probably tell from the title this video is going to be a quite a bit different from the list that we normally do lately there have been a lot of sales going on with gaming platforms such as steam battle.net epic games and origin recently there is a pretty big discount for the game need for speed heat from a young age i was a fan of racing games and this is one i have been wanting for a while but i just didn't want to pay full price for it so naturally i picked up the deluxe version which comes with a few cars so be prepared for a lot of need for speed heat content after playing the game for a while, I found that it's not at all like the racing games I'm familiar with. In Need for Speed Heat, not only do you have your different types of races such as sprint, circus, drift events, and even off-road events, but you can actually modify your car specifically to the event you'll be competing in. Changing parts such as tire suspension and much more specific to those events can give you massive advantage. And after struggling to drift with my track car, I decided to take the Jaguar unlock and turn it into the ultimate drift car. That was the plan at least. This thing could rack up points like no one's business, but I could seriously not control it for the life of me. Stick to the end of the video to see the parts that I used, copy the car, and let me know in the comment section if you were able to control this monstrosity. One last thing before I let the clips play without commentary, I was using XSplit to record my gameplay and unfortunately it turned out to be super glitchy and I didn't realize it until I completed the event. What's more, I actually recorded a ton of game footage within the same game session, so the next few clips may be a bit glitchy. And by clips, I mean upcoming videos. But I promise, other than that, it's all good content. There is good news though. I'll now be using a different software to record the gameplay. Just hang in there till those videos are released. Alright, that's enough talk. Here's the out of control drift machine, completing Wayne's Last Wonder and unlocking the infamous 350Z from Need for Speed Underground 2. Let's get to it. This is it. One of the toughest tracks out there. I just put on my score. Everything I got. If I win... You gonna say you beat the best drifter in the city? Hell, if that happens, I might even throw in a prize. Good luck. See you at the bottom. Yeah. 
Priority, get your asses over here. No can do. We're running a skeleton crew tonight. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? And I'm not just talking about the glitching. Now let's head over to the garage and talk about the parts. From this point on, this is new footage recorded with a different program, so it shouldn't be tweaking that anymore. Since we're in the garage though, I thought I'd show you the 350Z from Need for Speed Underground 2 you unlock after completing Wayne's Last Wonder. I did a ton of performance upgrades to this beast and made it an incredible drift car with actually pretty good control. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video drop. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the parts used in the monstrosity I call a drift car. I'll just cycle through and cut the commentary. And there you have it. If you can control this car with these parts, let me know in the comments section. I just want to know whether or not it's possible. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for the Need for Speed Heat video. Be sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell because we are always releasing new content. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.